Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is January 15th, 2020, and I'm here to talk about sugar drops. And I do not like to be the bearer of bad news, but here we go again. So by now, most of us are familiar with the fact that there's no such thing as a level playing field with King Games. Firstly, because they have so many different test groups that just by virtue of your profile, you could get something that nobody else has or be excluded from things that everyone else seems to have. And then if you play on one browser, you might get one batch of goodies. And if you pay, play in a different browser, you might get a different batch of goodies or no goodies whatsoever. So we're familiar with that concept, I think. And then also most of us know that King has been changing a lot of things. A lot of our favorite things, like our ability to exit a board before we make a move without losing any lives or boosters, and they still have not responded with their official statement like they promised to do well before Christmas. So it gets very frustrating, and this is just kind of the next step in the frustration as far as I'm concerned, because yesterday reports started coming in that people were only able to get five sugar drops per level. Now, for those of us who actually have the sugar track, we know that level 1476 is one of the best places to go. We also know that the way to get sugar drops is to prompt some cascades. So if I make a move that then makes subsequent moves on the board like this, you see how we got a, a series of moves after that? One of these should turn into a candy with a C on it and that would indicate that it is a sugar drop. And then when we uh, collect that sugar drop, it goes into our apothecary jar here. But we're not getting any more C's because I already have five on the board. Now it appears that when people first started complaining on King Community, uh, at least one of the superstars was responding in a way that made it sound like it, it was probably a glitch in the system and that they would work on getting it fixed. However, we did get a report from the community manager himself, Panawea, and he talks about how he incorporated all of the questions about it into this one thread here. And then he says, I'd like to confirm that getting five drops per level is not an issue. Well, it certainly is an issue to me and to everybody else, it seems, who has only gotten now five drops per level, even though we're doing the things that should earn us more. Uh, I think what he's saying is it's not a glitch, it's intentional. And I get that from what he continues to say. It goes on, the studio has confirmed that some changes will be applied to some random players with their sugar drops. Hold on, it gets worse. A new and random test group was created and very soon it will be reaching more players. So if this does not affect you yet, it may affect you soon. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, he also says the changes for this group of players are the following, but he doesn't really explain them. Changing the unlocking level to 501. My best guess on this is I think you had to reach like level 20 or level 50 before you ever got sugar drops. It's been so long, I can't quite remember what level. It sounds like what he's saying is now if you're under level 501, you won't be able to unlock the sugar track. That's my best guess. Until we get clarification, I don't know. He says changing the sugar candies drops to five. Well, I don't know that I would understand that comment either, but we just saw it in action. So we know that we only get five per level. And then he says changes also in the rewards. Now, this is the one bright spot, very, very dimly bright spot in a very, very dark room. But we used to have untimed boosters, these static boosters that we could put into our coffers here. And then uh, they started giving us timed boosters and a lot of people didn't like that. So apparently now the answer is we get the regular static boosters. However, it's going to take us so much longer to collect them. Instead of getting, you know, 30 boosters on level 1476 or sometimes 50 boosters on that level, we get five. Uh, so very, very frustrating. Now, normally I try to look for workarounds. And I used to have one, even when we had the timed boosters coming in, I informed people of that 
if they went to the old platform, the Flash platform, because right now King is coded in HTML5 language, but it used to be coded in Flash, and you can still get the old Flash version if you go to Internet Explorer or King.com. And so we had this workaround. We'll just go there and play level 1476. If you go in Internet Explorer, I could even just open it up on three different tabs, play it kind of concurrently, and do all of my collecting within 15 minutes. But uh, at some point in time, instead of them just abandoning the flash and not making any changes to it, Somehow, at least to mine, they changed it so that even if I play at one of those flash sources, it looks like things are going well. It looks like I'm, you know, collecting all of the sugar drops, but I never get this. And what's more is I just did a double check on level 666 here to make sure I completed all of the orders. I'm in my cooldown phase here but the number of boosters I have never changed. I never got any new boosters. So it looks like a great situation and it's not. We do not get any boosters. We can collect as many sugar drops as we want every eight hours, but for me, they do not translate into boosters. Now remember how I said we never have a level playing field. So that's my experience. I do recommend that you experiment though, if you want. I will warn you that Internet Explorer and King work on Flash. Flash is not supported by most browsers, so there's a lot of kind of fiddling around that you have to do in the browsers to make sure that Flash will load for those. And then, of course, it's interminably slow, and it's really hard to scroll in these old ones. So uh, that's going to be a bit of a disadvantage for you. But you can check it out and see if the sugar drops are important to you to see if you have that ability. All right, so that's the only information I have for you right now. I'm very sorry to report it to you, but I do feel it's my duty to let you know what's happening here. Uh, and I think a lot of you know that I have uh, done a poll and asked what other games you might want to see me play, and I'm going to be looking into some non-King games. So I am going to be looking at Best Fiends, like Friends with the, out the R, and I should be starting that by this weekend. And I think it'll be a fun adventure. I still will play Candy Crush and record the levels for you. Uh, I'm not as committed to King as I am committed to my viewers. So I will still do that. But I also feel the need to branch out to kind of protect my sanity. And then, of course, I started a new channel. It's a Let's Play channel. So we um, I started it with my son and we just play some really fun games and I've got a lot of subscribers there already from the folks who watch me on this channel and I'm just so blessed that you guys have taken the time to uh, subscribe and to watch. So look for those opportunities. If you find another game that you think is just absolutely fantastic, please let me know. Otherwise, we'll just keep plodding along and expect more changes like this in the future. If you do find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. Please feel free to comment as much as you want below. If you're angry at King, feel free to vent. You've got a sympathetic ear. Um, but also you can go to the King Communities page and complain to them too because I can't affect any change. And as always, thank you so much for watching.